we will work with a demo topology of a virtual data center. This means we're going to use three virtual devices from the Juniper portfolio. It's important to mention, however, that Nita offers multi-vendor support and is not only limited to virtual devices. This means you can, of course, plug it into your physical hardware. Nita is an open source solution and it features best of breed open source components such as Ansible, Jenkins and Robot Framework. Nira is a dockerized application and its workflow lies around three main phases. We have new out of the box that takes new devices and configures them with a basic configuration enabling SSH and NetConf connectivity. We have build that allows Ansible to push a configuration to your network devices and finally we have test which is where all your network tests are going to be executed and logged thanks to our framework this is jenkins user interface as you can see it lists a series of processes available within nita like noob build and test we will now trigger the noob and as you can see it will show up in the build executor status on the left by clicking on it it's then possible to track down the process up to the console output and once we get to the console, we can take a look into the tasks that are executed. This refers to an Ansible playbook, which is uh, uh, within Nita. And uh, what this uh, new out-of-the-box phase is doing is just uh, trying to configure NetConf and SSH connectivity to brand new devices. This means uh, Nita will connect to the devices of the virtual data center demo with a serial connection and then enable SSH and NetConf for the subsequent phases of the NITA workflow. As you can see, the play executed correctly, which means we can go back to the project, back to the dashboard, and uh, now we can. I can show you briefly what uh, is going around when you when it comes to tests reporting. We can see from Jenkins already which test case is passed and which case, test case is failed. We can browse the results, uh, view a graphical trend of the last build processes, and take a closer look into the report where we can see what's going on, like uh, how, how long test took, took to, uh, to execute. After the noob has succeeded, we can scroll back to the project, go back to the dashboard and take a look into the test reporting. As you can see here, we already executed tests of, uh, on the router and uh, we can check um, their status by showing, uh, for example, that there are there is one test case that failed and now we can open the report and browse the result. And uh, finally, it's possible to inspect the report to take a closer look. As you can see, there is one test case that, that failed. It's possible to take a deeper look into the log to verify uh, what happened uh, in the backend during text case execution.